Hello there, internet people. Welcome back. Welcome back to Mike's Magic Auto Detailing and Paint Enhancement here in Sharksburg, Georgia. <laughs> it's good to see you folks. Well, I don't think anybody's on there right now. I was just going to catch everybody up on what's been going on with my car. I think I'll wait a minute or two to see if anybody joins me here. I'll pan around here just a little bit and show you some of the myriad of tools <laughs> I've been working with today. I just finished, I decided to redo the clear coat restore, that optimum clear coat restore I had put on there because I messed it up and then I put some old er out of date ceramic coating on top of that that messed up too it's <laughs> the way it goes folks that's just the way it goes anyway so what is that number up in there I wonder is that how many people are watching or something I don't know I don't know what that little number up in the corner is Did anybody else know can you tell me make a comment down there and let me know <laughs> let me know you're there <laughs> I don't know if that means there's some people watching or not. I think that you usually show up with your little thingy floating across. Oh, there's somebody. Who is that? I can't tell by the picture who it is. Lisa Cowan Brown. Boy, I bet you got some, <laughs> some comments about that rhyming name, did you not? Hey, Miss Glenda. <laughs> I hope you got your walk done okay, or maybe slip in another walk or two here shortly. I was just catching everybody up on what I've been doing to my car. You might remember, not too long ago, I put the Optimum Clear Coat Restore on it. This stuff right here, good stuff. Although, that little container right there is about 100 bucks, give or take. Hey, Jimmy. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. How you doing, brother? Catching everybody up. Jimmy, I don't know if you remember, I don't know, about a month or so back, I put the Optimum Clear Coat Restore on the Mustang. I did it improperly, so I had a few streaks. Still good stuff. It was user error on my fault. About a, that little bottle right there, Jimmy, is about 100 bucks and change. By the time you pay postage and all that crap. Yeah, trust me, it's about 100 bucks. Uh-oh. <laughs> Air compressor. Shut that thing off. Gee, cads. Anyway, <laughs> Jimmy, you know, I, I ended up with some streaking in it, and then I put some out-of-date um, ceramic coating on top of that, and it messed up, too. I should have known better. So, anyway, this morning I stripped all that off. Here are some of the tools I've been using tools and pads and compound all kind of stuff and then I paint prepped it real good and I have just finished a few minutes ago reapplying the optimum clear coat restorer to the hood and what I'm waiting for is it to dry good enough and then I'm gonna redo the roof as well but I don't want to sling stuff onto this right here but as you can see I think now that I did it properly it, it's in the process of curing but man that stuff it, it looks good right now I mean good on this old cheap ass paint job I mean look at that Jimmy look at that and it's it's still wet it's drying as we speak that's good stuff right there I'm telling you and uh, tr trust me this hood is awful I don't know if Mako painted that or if the guy that owned his car before me painted it in his backyard. I don't know. But it's awful. The only place where I messed up and I can't seem to figure out there's a little bit of lint there left over from what they have you do is putting it on with microfiber towels that they furnish you and it they're linting. Maybe I should have washed them first, Jimmy. Maybe would have got rid of and let them air dry. Minimize the lint that comes off of them. You know, I, I buy all these microfiber towels and, you know, they all say, oh, lint-free. Bull crap. 
I ain't bought one yet that was lint-free. Not one. Some have less lint than others. But, huh. And I'm going to tell you what. If you're going to be doing this kind of stuff, Jimmy, there are some things you got to make sure you have. Because this is highly toxic stuff, this clear-cut restore. And the ceramic cutting. you got to have some nitrile gloves. And I'm thinking about putting this back on because this odor is overwhelming. It's just like painting your car. You'll need these. <laughs> the aspirator. Trust me. Not a dust mask. The dust mask ain't going to do you no good because this is some really bad fumes coming off of this thing, Jimbo. Oh, it stinks in here. Man. I'm thinking about turning my air conditioner, just the fan on to get some exhaust going in here because it's filtered. I've got it filtered. Get some of this odor out of here. <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> Well, uh, when this dries to the touch and not too susceptible to dust landing on it, then I'm going to get up there. I'm going to strip that hood again real quick, and I'll do the clear coat restore on it again. And then once the clear coat restorer cures properly, Jimmy, then I'll redo the ceramic coating again. <laughs> oh, whose picture is that? Ah, Matt King. What's up, brother? <laughs> Mr. Matt, Mr. Matt, how you been doing there, guy? Hadn't seen you since Wild Bills, I don't think. But what I was telling everybody, Matt, I don't know if you watched or are familiar with it. This is my Mustang GT, 98 Mustang GT. Got a new motor and all that, blah, 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 blah. It's warmed up a little bit. But, hey, Mr. Kevin Fuller, I, not too long ago, I had applied this Optimum Clear Coat Restorer to it that little bottle right there actually it's a can is about a hundred bucks how a hundred bucks excellent matt excellent it's good to hear man it's good to hear and i kind of i didn't do it just right which i found out later and then i put a old out-of-date ceramic coating on it kevin and that messed up too so i messed up all the way around just playing around with my car and uh, so this morning what i did Here's some of the tools I've been using. <laughs> Man, probably the most important one is this aspirate because this stuff has got a lot of bad fumes to it. It's really strong stuff. But I've reapplied after I stripped everything off and buffed it down, all that paint prepped it. I've reapplied the clear coat restore to the hood. And man, is it turning out awesome. It is turning out great. I love that stuff for poor or suffering, failing paint jobs, which mine is because it's an old Mako paint job. Who knows how many, how long it's been on there. It was on there when I bought it three or four years ago. But that clear coat restore is leveling out just right, in my opinion. And when it gets where it's a little bit dry to the touch, they say it takes five or ten minutes where it's, you know, not, you can't really do anything to it but because it takes 48 hours to fully cure, but... I didn't want to mess with my roof until this is dry to the touch because I'll probably be stirring up some dust and that kind of stuff. But, I mean, look at that on that. <laughs> look at that on that hood. That is just amazing. Just amazing. It covered up and filled in so many defects. It ain't. It's ridiculous. This stuff is truly a game changer. A little unwieldy to use, a little expensive, a lot of steps you have to go through before you can really apply it. And you've got to have the gloves, you've got to have the aspirator and the right stuff, man. So you got to be careful with it. I'm not sure it's really a DIYer project putting that stuff on if you don't have all the equipment. I mean, for example, this morning I used my new Long Throw Pro 15 millimeter throw polisher. I used my rotary polisher. I used different pads. I used different substances, different products rather. You know, getting this thing ready, getting it ready, you know, because prep is the key to just about any of this stuff, really, even if you're just putting wax on. If you don't prep it properly, it's not going to work as well, and it's not going to work as long. You suffer in longevity. But anyway, I think when this dries, 
and I get time, I'm going to reapply the ceramic coating, although I went to order it yesterday, and they're out of stock. Wouldn't you know it, Matt? Wouldn't you know it? Ugh. So now i got to decide what I'm going to use in the meantime till they get it back in stock. He said they're redoing their formula. Ugh. That's just the way it goes, isn't it, Glenda? I'm telling you. Oh, man. But anyway, just a project in progress here. But tomorrow after lunchtime, some point in time, that 47 Cadillac's going to come rolling in here. So I'll have to put mine to the side and get started on that. But it'll be okay by then. But this time when I put it outside, at least some of the time I'm going to keep a cover on it. Because this stuff will be dry to the touch by then. And I'm just going to put the cover on it loosely just to keep dust and dirt out of it. I don't really care about anything else. And then we'll see what happens. Okay, folks. I'll catch y'all later. Thank you for watching.